Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can 100% fix your crashing in CMU 1.13.1 or 1.13.2 and also fix all of your issues with any cutscene audio or in-game audio stutter. So the issue itself is the fact that CMU Hook has not been updated for a while, at least to support some of the new features of CMU Emulator. You can see in the bottom of my CMU window that my current version is 0.5.6.6. This is currently an outdated version. Let's now update our CMU Hook version in order to implement all of these previously mentioned fixes. So all that you want to do is open your browser and come to this address right here. You'll find this down below in the description of this video. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this CMU Hook version 0.5.6.8. You can see this is for versions 1.12.1 to 1.13.2. Scrolling down this page a small amount, we can see the changelog for these latest two CMU hook versions which have been now merged into the latest 0.5.6.8 version. You can see that the 0.7 version fixed audio stuttering during video decoding on CMU 1.13.1 and any version after, and the 0.8 version has fixed a crash that sometimes happens after shader caches had been loaded. This new CMU hook version is going to fix both of these issues and give you the best possible experience on this Wii U emulator. So all you want to do is scroll back up the page and click this link right here. This will begin downloading this new version of CMU hook. I'm simply going to save mine to my desktop. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to close my browser and I will see my new version here. Simply right click it and then using whatever extraction software you use, I myself use 7-zip, you're going to want to extract this to a folder of its own. Once you have done this, open this folder and highlight all of the files. Once you have all the files highlighted, simply right click again, select copy and then you're going to want to paste all of these files into your latest CMU directory. Now I'm going to click replace all files and I'm probably also going to have to close CMU emulator that I have open just so I can actually replace all of these files. Once I click try again you can see that all these files have been replaced and next when I actually load CMU.exe once more in the bottom left hand corner I am going to see that it is now updated to version 0.5.6.8. Okay, so let's now actually load through a large shader cache, one of the largest ones and obviously one of the most popular games on CMU emulator is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So let's just scroll down my games list and I'm going to launch The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, load fully through my shader cache and see if the crash at the very end of shader cache compilation is indeed fixed. And there we go, as you can clearly see I did not crash after my shader cache had compiled. Some users of CMU are reporting that it does crash the very first time they do it, but upon loading their shader cache and game for the second time, it flawlessly works every single time. Please let me know down in the comment section of this video what your experience is when using this brand new CMU hook version. Now I can also confirm that when loading into game and loading any of the memories, the audio is completely fixed with all of the gameplay and video playback. Unfortunately I cannot show any of those memories or videos in this video due to the fact that doing so is basically an instant copyright strike from Nintendo. Hopefully everything I've shown you in this video as well as everything I've already shown you in my complete setup guide for CMU has helped you to get the best possible experience on this Wii U emulator. If you have any questions or have any problems with anything I have covered in this or any of my other videos, please do not hesitate to leave either a comment down below or join my discord and ask me any questions you could possibly have over there. Once again, a massive thank you to all of my new and old Patreon supporters. Without your continued support, I would not be able to deliver as many videos and content releases as I already do. If you want to help to support my YouTube channel and get your name featured on this list, all you have to do is head on over to my Patreon and pledge to support the channel. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.